Hey, it's Scott from the Production Academy. In this video, we're discussing how to use a DI and a microphone for a bass guitar on stage. Now, this is video three of four of a short series I developed where I share some footage I shot at a show recently, uh, at a show I did with a, some friends of mine, The Hold Steady. Uh, I've been doing shows with them for a long time. So I shot some video of how their stage is set up for, these, for this four video series. So I just wanna review, go over quickly exactly what a DI does. A DI will take either a line level signal from something like a keyboard or an instrument level signal from something like a bass guitar or electric guitar and transform that into a mic level balance signal which goes to the console. So it can be really helpful for the sound engineer to get a clean direct signal from the instrument like this. I know for me, when I'm mixing bass guitar, in almost every circumstance, it really helps to get that clean, clear DI signal. And then if I want some kind of round amp sound on top of that, I can mix the two together. So that's why a lot of engineers like having a DI and a microphone on the bass. So I did take a little footage, a little video from the show that we did recently, and I'll show you exactly how that looks like and how that's set up in real life. We're just looking at a bass setup on stage, how we use a DI to send a direct signal to the console and jump it to an amp so the bass player can hear himself on stage and so we can also use a microphone on the amp. So we have our DI, JDI by radio, which is a very common one you see on stage. And this connects via XLR straight to the stage box, then to the splitter, and eventually onto the two consoles. This is from the bass guitar itself and goes into the input. We also want to use the amplifier on stage. So we use this very short cable to jump from the DI into the amplifier. Now, this is good, it's good to use a short cable here because remember, you can't run unbalanced signals very far, and this is an unbalanced signal. So using a short cable just helps keep the signal cleaner. But the DI also takes this instrument level unbalanced signal and transforms it into a balanced mic level signal, which travels via the XLR to the consoles. So that's just a very quick video about how the DI and mic work together for a bass guitar on stage. Obviously there's a lot more to know, there's a lot more to talk about. So if you do want more information and want to know how all this stuff works on a fundamental level, you should definitely go check out our essential live sound training. You can find that at theproductionacademy.com. Uh, this course goes over all the fundamentals of live sound. It goes into really good detail about every little bit of the systems we use. So a lot of knowledge to be learned there if you want to kind of push your knowledge to the next level. So, uh, but next week I'll have a video for you on how I feed the sound system, the, the different zones, and we'll focus specifically on what front fills do. Until then, hope you're having a great day. Bye.